Hey everybody. So in this introduction, we're going to go over the basis of Google AdSense. And Google AdSense is how content publishers make money online. So if you're trying to get into passive income or if you're trying to make a website or anything like that, it's important to understand how Google AdSense works because it is the biggest advertising network in the world. If you've never used Google AdSense before, let me give you a brief introduction on how it works. So advertisers will sign up with Google AdWords, which is a separate but it's completely intertwined program where they can create ads and promote a product or service. Once that ad has been approved, the content creators, aka website owners, will place code provided by Google on their websites, connecting website visitors to the advertisers and vice versa. So what they want to have happen is they want a person that comes to your website to click on an advertisement. And when a visitor does click on your ad, you're going to receive a portion of the cost per click, abbreviated as CPC. The CPC is what Google charges the advertiser every time someone clicks on their ad. It can range anywhere from a cent per click to over $100 per click for a service like a lawyer or a doctor, or basically anything that costs a lot of money. The point of your website is that the ads will be displayed alongside content, so a visitor will have the chance to click on an ad if they see it and if it's relevant to the content they're reading or if it's something that's in their history and they've seen a lot of. So if you choose a niche like cat toys, for example, and you've done your research and found out the cost per click for a keyword cat toys is roughly two bucks, you can expect to receive a portion of that two bucks every time someone clicks on a cat toy related ad on your website. On your website, you'll be focusing around a specific niche, hopefully. So usually the ads displayed will be related to the niche you choose, but not always. So you're probably wondering, how come when I choose a niche and everything's going good and that niche has a cost per click of 50 bucks, why am I only getting 10 cents per click for each one of these ads? The answer to your question is because Google does not always display an advertisement related to your niche when someone visits the website. Say for example, a person, before they start visiting your website, they are searching around for a dog toy. And the dog toy, those cost per clicks, for those advertisements, anything related to dog toys, is only 50 cents. So what Google does, because it has really smart people, and they have a really, really good algorithm, is they can tell when someone's been looking for a certain product for a really long time. And when they do that, when they have someone that's looking for dog toys, they're going to display dog toy advertisements as much as possible. So even though your website is about cat toys, and even though you have a $2 cost per click for each ad that you have, you're only going to get 50 cents if Google decides, hey, you know what, this person is really interested in dog toys instead of cat toys. So obviously this is just an example, but it's hard to tell when this happens because Google doesn't share information with specifically what ad was clicked by a visitor from your website. So both the websites that I run that have Google AdSense, they're really close, if not spot on, to the original cost per click I originally researched they would be. So once a person clicks on your advertisement, you're going to have money show up in your Google AdSense dashboard. Google is really picky on what they allow you to share, so I can't show you any pictures of the AdSense dashboard because it violates the AdSense terms of service. But once you create an AdSense account, it'll be the first page you see every time you sign into your account. If you haven't created an AdSense account yet, you should probably go ahead and do so. It takes a pretty long time to get it all set up. The reason I say this is because occasionally Google, in order to verify your account, they'll send you a little postcard in the mail. And when I waited for my postcard, it took months. So your mileage may vary, but I had to wait a long time in order to be approved for the AdSense network because that letter took so long. Also keep in mind, you do have to have an ad an advertisement space, such as a website, already set up before you sign up for Google AdSense. So if you don't have like a side blog, or if you don't have a website, or you don't have a blog spot account that you can put an ad on, you probably want to go ahead and get that started. There's tons of guides on there on how you can get approved for Google AdSense, so I'll let you go and look into those. Um, with that, that's a pretty good overview of Google AdSense. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get back to them as soon as I can. Thanks. Take care.